guys, this is Richard from AdventureMountain at Beach.com on the show floor of Macro 2017. I'm here with my friend Matt Wittenrich of Pumala. And now we have a, a big news for you guys. I actually just got this email this morning, <laughs> 8 o'clock this morning. But um, the success story is they were able to breed a special type of angelfish. And I'm going to let Matt here take over here and show you guys what he did, OK? Uh, thank you, Richard. I think the success story isn't so much in breeding the, uh, the conspicuous angelfish that has everyone buzzing but it's more about um, kind of the concept so far so this is the the, the big debut of Poma Lab and what we're doing uh, we're launching with nine new species of angelfish available directly to hobbyists in the US um, so you can get them retail direct we offer a 30-day guarantee and a certificate of identity so now we know how old the fish is that you buy and um, we're pretty excited about it uh, we started working with the angelfish it's a uh, angelfish are special to my heart they're beautiful fish we're working mostly with the mid-sized angelfish um, but but mainly people who buy these fish there's no guarantee that they're gonna live you know, a lot of times they come in loaded with parasites they don't really eat I think the coolest thing is these fish were raised in captivity uh, we guarantee they're gonna thrive we want people to succeed so these guys everyone that leaves uh, is trained to eat pellet food PE pellets At the booth we have the smallest conspic angelfish anyone in the world has ever seen we have blue line angels and Singapore angels so so that's what we're launching with today. And uh, where are you guys based? Uh, we're based in Florida. I think Florida is kind of the mecca for marine ornamental aquaculture these days. We have a lot of the big players down there, and I'm kind of a small boutique hatchery nestled right in the middle of them. How long have you guys been breeding these angels? Well, the concept of angels, uh, specifically, we've been working on for about four years. Yes. And we were finally able to do it. So these guys here, this represents the first batch that made it through. Right. Um, and these were born on April 18th. So that's kind of a, a neat thing when you're buying the fish that you know when the fish is born. Right. So they're kind of the ugly ducklings of the Holy Grail angel fish. They start out muddy. I think 90% of the people that walk by don't recognize what they are, but it's exciting. It's pretty cool. Oh, it's this very, is very exciting. Thrilled about. Yeah, and you know it's funny because, like you mentioned, this is actually the smallest I have ever seen the conspic angels in. Exactly. Yeah. Every time I see them in a wholesaler, like I four or five inches minimum. Yep. yep. Wow. It's just amazing. Yeah. And what are some of the tribulations that you had with this species? Um, well, number one is finding healthy fish. You know, there's not many collectors in, in New Caledonia. All the wild fish come from New Caledonia, so there's not a whole lot of collectors. There's not a lot of importers. So. Um, trying to find a male and female of a fish that doesn't look different is pretty challenging. And then finding ones that want to uh, coexist together and, right. and breed is, is a very challenging thing. Right. So it took us uh, some time. And then, obviously, this fish eats sponges and tunicates in the wild. So we had right. a pretty difficult find recreating the diet of these things. Right. One in uh, trying to find the environment to make them breed. And ultimately, the hardest part, raising the, the fry. So, gotcha. So wow. there's been a lot of hurdles, but we yeah. finally overcame. Them and, and here they are. And you know, I think this is an ex excellent thing because the thing is that all the night, like I would say about 90% of the angels in the wild, you have the different flukes and stuff. Right. And it's a good thing to get captive breeding. Not only you're supporting the good cause, but you're also getting a, like a disease free fish. Right. And also, they're like they're conditioned in a way so that they'll eat everything that's prepared for you automatically, pellet food, flake food, whichever food that you prepare, they're, they're ready to chop it down. And I think that's a huge thing. And this is a major accomplishment. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You know, no, one of the I, biggest things for me yeah. is it's really hard, like me as a hobbyist, to pull the trigger on such an expensive fish yeah. that I have no guarantee it's going to eat, right. that's not loaded with parasites. So so this just offering a 30 day guarantee on such a cool fish, uh, you for for you as the hobbyist, price. just know that you're going to succeed. I think that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's, that's a huge thing. 30 day guarantee, that's, that's almost unheard of in this industry. Uh, I think it is unheard of. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, congratulations, man. I, I'm super excited and happy to be here and just be one of the first to actually. Oh, this oh, okay. Thank Thank you. You. Wow.